let's have a look at question two now so suppose that we have a supply which is fixed at 80 units what's going to be the selling price now to understand this concept of the selling price first we have to realize who are we selling to we are selling to consumers so we are selling to consumers it means that we want to know the willingness to pay of the consumers and what is the willingness to pay sorry about that what is the willingness to pay of consumers willingness to pay of consumers well we have to go to the demand function we will go to the demand function and see what is going to be the price paid by the consumers for 80 units supplied in other words the quantity demanded when that is offered at 80 units when we are sold 80 units in the market how much are we willing to pay 200 minus two times the price so the price that we are willing to pay let's see if we take the minus two price on the left side it becomes two price and we take 80 to the right side it becomes 200 minus 80 equals to 120 so the price is equal to the price is equal to 120 divided by 2 equals to 60 that's going to be the price consumers are willing to pay so one thing to stress here is this even though it's given the quantity supplied that it's fixed we are substituting into the quantity demanded function because we're interested to know the price from the demanders from the consumers the willingness to pay for this sale if they give us 80 units how much are we paying back that's why we're working with the quantity demanded function hope this makes sense in the next video we'll keep working i think two other questions for this uh, for this concept